actually, you actually came back. You left the play for a while. Yeah. To shoot the movie of Looking. Yeah. Uh, on it for HBO. For HBO. You're one of the stars of Looking. Yeah. Um, then you came back a month later. Was it was it hard to like be away and then to jump back into the show? I didn't know what to think when I came back because I'd never done that before. The biggest difference was the crown broke while I was gone. George's crown? George's crown Did it broke. Did fall off the, the understudy's head or something? I don't know. <laughs> no. It was sort of breaking as I left, so there was a new crown when I got back. Yeah. And it was such a revelation because it was pounds lighter than the original crown. The original crown was so heavy that it, it really informed my like entrance walk onto the stage, which is a very specific like situation. Is that why you're walking so carefully? Because yes. Trying yes. to keep your neck from snapping? A little bit, yes. And it's sort of like I love Lucy. Like if I tilt my head in one direction, I'm gonna just like completely fall over. Now, yeah. I understand that Beyonce loves your walk. She came to see the show with Jay-Z, which was a, a huge great. moment yeah. for all of us. Me in particular, I'm obsessed with Beyonce. That's probably, okay, yeah, right? Wow. Keep Blanchett. Keep Blanchett and Beyonce together in a room. And yeah. <laughs> I think I would implode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But she came to see the show with Jay-Z, and she was so awesome. She came back, they both came backstage and were so generous with everyone and, and, and very specific mm -hmm. words to every person in the show. They, like, she, they really, like, they were really watching. And she said to me that she was like, you were the king. I said, yeah. And she said, uh, I want to steal your walk. Wow. Wow. And the floor opened up, and I fell into my grave. Well, let's, and can, my, you, can, you, can you show the walk that Beyonce? Yeah. Because well, I, want, I, want I want people to know when yeah. they see Beyonce do it in her next video that she's actually stolen her from you. I, I want to teach it to you. Will, you. will you do it? Can I teach you the walk? Oh, yeah, I would love it. I would love it. What do we need? OK. OK. Mm -hmm. OK. Maybe yep. we'll walk. Let's walk in this direction. Yeah. OK. OK. That sounds good. So imagine that you've got, like, a crown on your head that weighs, okay. like, 50 pounds. OK? Mm -hmm. All right. You're in a giant cape. So mm -hmm. you're basically weighted down with a lot of, like, poundage, okay. right? Mm -hmm. But you're also, so you feeling that? I've got it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> but you're also uh, in heels. <laughs> right. OK. Do you have like a book or something I can put on your head or like to, I to got, like simulate uh, weight? I've got. Uh, we need your hat. Doris Kern's good one's got a couple of books. I had a couple of hers. Uh, how about uh, how about the bully pulpit? Perfect. Uh, and I got uh, I got uh, her one on the Roosevelt's here. That'll work. Nice. Okay. All right. It's a good plug. Okay. okay. So you got this on your head, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you balancing? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna button as well. Okay, and keep your cape on. Are your heels on? Oh, you wearing your betcha. heels? Yep. Okay, so now you're just gonna want to put one foot in front of the other without crossing them, and walk as though you're walking on a tightrope. <laughs> oh my God, you're so good. How you doing? Jonathan Groff is in Hamilton, now on Broadway. Jonathan Groff, everybody, we'll be right back.